Every day it seems like we learn about a new way the virus is affecting our life. Now it's a shortage of coins. Have you seen this? Some stores are telling people that you pay with cash. We can't give you exact pay change back sometimes with coins. A woman told our Deshaun Brown it happened to her. She's live tonight and Deshaun, uh, she was pretty shocked to hear the cashier's explanation. Yeah, she was. She told me she'd been shopping there for 15 years and had never dealt with anything like that. But a lot of stores are dealing with this right now, including the one here behind me. But Scott, no one seems to know how long this will go on. Thank you. Out of everything that's changed, the latest impact from COVID-19 now impacting your change. I thought she was kidding. I said, where's my change? I said, you forgot to give it to me. She, she said, we're not giving out change. Betty McAlpin speaks from experience. The Charlotte woman shopped at this convenience store this morning and paid with the $5 bill. But McAlpin, who was in a wheelchair, says she missed the sign at the front door. It says due to a national chain shortage, it's requiring all customers to pay with exact change or a gift, debit, or credit card. She got to keep my 60 three cents. I mean, it's I don't care if it's two pennies. It's my money with COVID and people out of work. We just don't have the money to, to give to them. It's not only convenience stores where things aren't so convenient. One, two, three, four. Perfect. The Federal Reserve says the coin shortage is nationwide with recent shutdowns also clogging the flow of coins. And the Federal Reserve doesn't know when this is going to end. So we're just trying to be proactive and, and trying to give our customer two, three, four different options. At Quick Trip, those options include giving change on gift cards or shopping from you. Yeah, but I mean, we're going old school. Is again, if you got a lot of coins in your pocket or somewhere else, if you bring them in, we'll buy them back. A lot of customers are coming in with money that they keep in a piggy bank and coffee can. Thank you. You have a good day. For now, still no word on how long before many retailers can expect to see the next change. This kind, at least. I've been going to that store for 15 years, and I've never had a problem like that. Yeah, you think about it, Deshaun, at, at my house, I have a bunch of change sitting around. A lot of people just kind of let it stay at home. So the Federal Reserve has to kind of make more. Do you know what they're doing to try to address this and get coins flowing again? Yeah, Scott, that is one thing that they're doing. They said they are working with the U.S. Mint to try to produce what they can, but they are also rationing the supply of coins. So that means some stores like this one just won't get as many as they used to. So it may take some time for all of this to level out, Scott. All right. Thank you, Deshaun.